Hey guys, how's it going? Today it's the Tech Daily, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5 using Red Snow. So this basically works for all iOS devices except for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. And just to let you guys know, this is a tethered jailbreak. So what that means is that every time you turn off your phone, you're going to have to reinstall it, otherwise uh, you're going to have to redo the jailbreak again. Otherwise it will be gone and you'll have to restore your phone again. So let's just go ahead and click on Red Snow. So the link, all the links will be down below for everything you need. So click on the uh, Red Snow link open up Red Snow and the first thing you have to do is go to extras and click select IPSW so you're also going to have to um, download the IPSW that's specific to your model and currently I'm on the iPhone 4 um, CDMA so I downloaded that so click on the IPSW click OK it says it was successfully identified so click OK click back and now you're going to click on jailbreak it's OK so it's going to pass you the kernel this should only take a few seconds so just wait for this to go through um, and then you can do install Cydia, install custom bundle, and enable multitask gestures. I'm just going to do install Cydia, click next, and then now what you have to do is plug in the cable to your device, and then you have to make sure your device is off. So hold the power button and turn off your phone. All right, so let's that wait that for that to turn off. Alright, so now my device is off, so now you're just going to click on next, and be aware that you're going to have to do a DFU mode to get ready for this. So, click on next, hold down your power, cable, power button for 3 seconds, now hold down your home button as well for 10 seconds, so hold them both. Now you're going to let go of your power button, and continue to hold on to your home button. So, 10 seconds left. Alright, so once this actually comes up, you can let go of your home button, and now basically software is just going to go through. So now you're just going to wait, and I'm going to show you my phone just so you can see what the, what the screen looks like when it's actually jailbreaking. And I'm actually going to not skip any parts so you guys can see the correct time that should take for everything to go through. I'm just going to play the video and not cut anything out. Okay, there we go. So it just finished the first stage and went through the second stage and now it's just waiting for the reboot. Alright, so there we go. So this is how your screen should look. That means the jailbreak was successfully went through and so now it's done your jailbreak data on your phone. So now you should be good that everything went through and it should only take a few more seconds for it to finish. Alright, there we go. So this is all normal. All this coding will come up on your screen, so don't get scared if any this comes up on your screen. This is all normal. So wait for this all to go through. Okay, alright, so now it's done, and now it's just going to go through this, so this is actually the pineapple symbol which represents the red snow, so it should only take a little bit as well, there's the notification bar at the bottom to show you how far it's actually going along.
एक सेकेंड Okay, there we go. So now your phone is rebooting. And now when you actually turn on the device, you should have Cydia. So there we go. Let's just wait for this to reboot up. Okay, so it should be starting up now. Alright, there we go. So now slide to unlock. Now slide over. Alright guys, so after jailbreaking your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, you might notice that instead of having the regular brown city application, you're going to have a white city application. And if you click on it, it just crashes. So I'm going to do a really quick fix on how to do this. So what you're going to do is just turn off your device. And you are going to have to use Red Snow again so you can open that up. So you open up Red Snow. And this time, instead of going to Jailbreak directly, you're going to go to Extras. And you're going to have to select the IPSW, the same one again. And this time, instead of going back to Jailbreak, as I said before, you're going to click on Just Boot. So click on Just Boot. And it says that your phone has to be turned off, so wait for my phone to turn off. And you are going to have to put your phone in DFU mode again, so make sure you're ready to do that. So you're going to click on Next, and you're going to have to hold down the power button for 3 seconds, so go ahead and do that. Now hold on to the Home button for another 10 seconds. And now you're going to let go of the power button again, and hold on to the Home button for 15 more seconds. Alright, there we go. So patching files, so now you can let go of your home button, and now it's going to go through the steps. So it should only take a little bit, and the only reason of this, you guys will see now it's actually a different pineapple symbol. And this is a tether jailbreak, and that's why sometimes you do have to do this. So it's just going to go through this, and it's going to restart again. So it's actually done on the computer, now you guys can see done over there. Now it's just going to have to finish going through the phone. And now when it restarts, you should have the regular city application and should be able to open it. So you guys can see it's a really simple fix. And that's basically just because it's a tether jailbreak, so that's why there's some problems. Alright, there we go, so it should be starting up soon. Alright, there we go, so now if I click slide to unlock and slide it over. You guys will see now I have that Brown City application. Now if I click on it, you guys will see it does open up. So it's a really simple fix. Now you can go through all the settings in Cydia. You have Cydia fully functional on your phone now. So it's a really simple fix. Don't be scared if you had that white Cydia application. And if you did without watching my previous video, you guys will now know how to fix that. So it's a really simple fix. So thanks for watching and please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.